Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Ria Study Circle. It is a requested video from my viewers. So let's start the video. Today I am going to explain about 8th class maths chapter number 10 direct and inverse proportion in that exercise 10.1 first problem. So first problem is the cost of 5 meters of a particular quality of cloth is 210 rupees. Find the cost of first one is 2 meters, second one is 4 meters. Third one is 10 meters and fourth one is 13 meters of cloth of the same quantity. So here first they gave 5 meters of the cloth cost that is 210 rupees. So here we have to find the cost of the 2 meters. First one is 2 meters then 4 meters, 10 meters, 13 meters. So let's see the solution for this problem. First we have to write what they given in the problem. So given that cost of 5 meters cloth is 210 rupees so here 5 meters cloth is 210 rupees means what happens to the cost of the 2 meters cloth here 5 meters to 2 meters the cloth quantity is decreases so obviously the price also decreases so here both the quantities decreases means it is in direct proportion so the formula for direct proportion is x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 so this is the formula we have to use to solve the problems related to direct proportion so here simply we can write cost of the cloth is directly proportional to meters of the cloth so here what is x1 y1 x2 y2 firstly x1 is cloth that is 5 meters cloth so cloth x1 equal to 5 meters next y1 is the cost of the cloth cost of 5 meters cloth is 210 rupees that is y1 equal to 210 rupees next x2 x2 means so here these two x1 and y1 is common for both four problems so in that first problem is 2 meters so here we can take x2 is 2 meters so we can apply these three values in this formula that is x1 equal to 5 meters y1 equal to 210 rupees x2 equal to 2 meters and y2 equal to we have to find the cost of the 2 meters cloth so y2 is we have to find so let's substitute these three values in this formula to find y2 value x1 by sorry y1 equal to x2 by y2 so here x1 is 5 by y1 is 210 5 by 210 equal to x2 is 2 by y2 let's do the cross multiplication then we get 5 into y2 equal to 2 into 210 next 5 into y2 when 5 comes to this side it will become divided by 5 so y2 equal to 2 into 210 by 5 here 5 1s are 5, 5 4s are 20, 5 2s are 10. So 5 42 is are 210. So y2 equal to 2 into 42. y2 equal to 2 42 is are 84. So here y2 is the cost of the 2 meters cloth that is 84 rupees. So therefore cost of the 2 meters cloth is 84 rupees. This is the solution for first problem. Next second one. 4 meters. So here we have to find the cost of the 4 meters cloth. So here 210 rupees for 5 meters cloth means. Here 4 meters means cloth is decreases from 5 to 4. So cost also decreases. So it is in direct proportion. So x1 equal to 5, y1 equal to 210, x2 equal to 4, y2 equal to we have to find the cost. So the formula for direct proportion is x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2. We have to substitute these values in this formula. So 5 by 210 equal to x2 means 4 by y2. Same as the problem 1. We are doing cross multiplication here. 5 into y2 equal to. 4 into 210 next step is y2 equal to 
this 5 will become divided by so 4 into 210 by 5 5 ones are 542 is the 210 y2 equal to 4 into 42 next step y2 equal to 4 into 42 4 to the 8 4 for the 16 so 442 is the 168 therefore we can write cost of the 4 meters cloth is 168 rupees so this is the solution for the second one next third one third one is 10 meters cloth same as the 1 and 2 we can solve this also here x1 equal to 5 y1 equal to 210 x2 equal to 10 y2 equal to we have to find here cloth quantity is increases from 5 meters to 10 meters so obviously the price also increases from 210 to whatever so we can use directly proportional formula here x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 and now we have to apply these three values in this formula that is x1 is 5 by y1 is 210 equal to x2 is 10 by y2 we have to find the value of y2 so same cross multiplication 5 into y2 equal to 10 into 210 next step is this into 5 will become divided by 5 y2 equal to 10 into 210 by 5 here 5 ones are 5 542 is a 210 so y2 equal to 10 into 42 10 42 is a 420 so y2 equal to the value is 420 therefore y2 means what cost of the 10 meters cloth so therefore cost of 10 meters cloth is 420 rupees so this is the solution for third one next fourth one so fourth one is 13 meters here x1 equal to 5 meters y1 equal to 210 rupees x2 equal to 13 meters so we have to find the y2 that is cost of the 13 meters cloth here cloth quantity is increases from 5 meters to 13 meters so obviously the cost also increases so it is in direct proportion the formula for direct proportion is x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 so now we have to substitute the all these three values in this formula so 5 by 210 equal to 13 by y2 same cross multiplication 5 into y2 equal to 13 into 210 sorry for the inconvenience here y2 equal to we can get 13 into 210 by 5 we can cancel 5 ones are 542 is a 210 so next step is y2 equal to 13 into 42 next one is 13 into 42 multiplication we can get 13 42 is a 546 so y2 is cost of the 13 meters cloth is 546 rupees therefore the cost of the 13 meters cloth is 546 rupees so like this we can solve the problems related to direct proportion so this is our today's video i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any doubts then comment below i will definitely explain in my next video if you want these videos in telugu then please comment below i will definitely explain in telugu also okare meeku videos telugu lo kavalu anukunte dai chesi comment cheyandi nenu telugu lo kuda explain chestu if you are confused to get my videos then go to playlist in my channel i will upload all my videos playlist wise so you can easily find there thank you for watching please support me by like share and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my latest updated videos when i post